protein sequence database protein sequence database is the database that contain the information regarding the protein sequences so this plot is one of the example of protein sequence database so this plot is a part of uniprot kb uniprot kb is a central hub for a collection of functional information on protein so this plot is a reviewed manually annotated database contain the record with the information extracted from the literature and curator evaluated computational analysis uniprot is a is a main protein sequence database it has a two section swiss plot and translated embl swiss plot is a reviewed one and translated embl is a unreviewed one after the manual annotation the sequence move from translated embl to the swiss plot this is the home page of uniprot database uniprot database has the following section uniprot kb uniref unipark and proteum uniprot kb that is uniprot knowledge base has a two section swiss plot and translated embl swiss plot is manually annotated and reviewed database whereas translated embl is automatically annotated and not reviewed database background of swiss plot swiss plot is an annotated protein sequence database established in the year 1986 and maintained collaboratively since 1988 by the department of medical biochemistry of university of geneva and embl data library coming to the source of sequence data the sequence data in the swiss plot originates from the three different sources first is from the translation of entries from embl nucleotide sequence database second is from the protein sequence database of protein identification resources pir and third is from the literature so these are the three different sources of protein sequence in swiss plot in this figure i have shown you how the sequence has been extracted from the nucleotide database to the translated embl and from the translated embl to the swiss plot embl is one of the nucleotide database from the nucleotide database the coding part the cds part get translated into the protein sequence and move to the translated embl along with the protein sequence the gene name protein name and the bibliographic information were also extracted automatically from embl to the translated embl in from the translated embl after the manual annotation of the sequence and associated biological information the sequence move from translated embl to the swiss plot that is why uh, we called translated embl as unreviewed and automatically annotated database after the manual annotation the sequence move to the swiss plot so swiss plot is called as the manually reviewed database format of entry in a swiss plot the swiss plot protein sequence data bank is composed of protein sequence entries each sequence entry is composed of many lines see as we have already seen in the nucleotide database also uh, each each entry is composed of many lines and each line has their own format which contain various uh, data which make up the entry for example id stands for identification it is the id name then uh, after swiss plot division data class data division the amount uh, the number of amino acid which make up the sequence protein sequence is made up of amino acid nucleotide sequence is made up of atgc nucleotides to yahan pe aa jo hai amino acid hai to yahan pe jo sequence hai wo kitne amino acid ka bana hua hai 2 na 50 9 amino acids ac stands for the accession number which is a unique identification number given to each sequence record in the database dt stands for the date <coughs> the first dt is the date at which the sequence was created second dt is the date at which the sequence was last updated and the third dt is the date at which the annotation was last updated then de stands for the description os for the organism source organism classification this all are the references cc is a comment line dr are the cross references kw is the keywords feature table then this is the sequence section which is starts with the word sq and end with double slash so this this is the sample entry in the swiss plot which is 
each entry is made up of many lines each line has their own format which records various data to make up the entry see uh, the swiss prot protein sequence data bank is composed of protein sequence entry each sequence entry is composed of lines different types of lines each with their own format are used to record various data which make up the entry for a standardization purpose the format of swiss prot follows as closely as possible that of the embl nucleotide sequence database okay, the, the format of swiss prot entry is similar to that of the embl in embl is one uh, we have seen that it also starts with the word id and end with double dash the sequence action starts with sq and end with double dash see here also the entry starts with id and with double dash and the sequence starts with sq and end with double dash the nucleotide sequences are usually stored in iubmb standard code that is atgc code similarly the protein sequences are usually stored in iupsc standard one letter code protein sequences is made up of amino acid here uh, each amino acid has given one letter code which make up the sequence see in this table i have shown you a one this is the one letter code for uh, the amino acid a stands for alanine r stands for arginine n stand for asparagine b stand for the as, uh, aspartic acid e stand for glutamic acid so this has the one letter code for each amino acid make up the uh, protein sequences this is a sample entry of the uh, protein sequence in Swiss prot. See here I have show, uh, shown you the full name and the description uh, used in the Swiss prot. ID stands for the identification, AC for the accession number, DT for the date, DE for the description, GN for gene name, OS, OG, OC for the organism source classification. These are the references. CC stands for comment. DR for the database cross references. KW for keywords. FT for the feature table. And SQ for the sequence header. <coughs> <coughs> what distinguishes Swiss prot from the other protein sequence database? There are four features of Swiss prot database which differentiate Swiss prot from the other sequencing database. The first is the annotation second is the minimal redundancy third is integration with the other sequencing database and fourth property is the documentation so these are the four features which distinguish swiss prot from other protein sequence database first is coming to the first one annotation to be useful to the majority of the user a protein sequence database should contain as much data as possible on each of the protein that it describes. In the Swiss prod, the two classes of data are the core data and the annotation data. For each sequence entry, the core data consists of the following items, the sequence data, the citation information and the taxonomic data. Citation information means the bibliographic references and uh, the taxonomic data means the description of biological source of the protein so these three data make up the core data annotation data includes the post translation modification such as phosphorylation acetylation etc domains at the end the sites such as calcium binding sites zinc finger site atp binding sites secondary structure of the protein like alpha helix beta pleated sheet etc quaternary structure like homodimer, heterodimer, and the disease associated with a deficiency in the protein. So all this information in the entry is make up the annotation data. Okay, in the Swiss plot entry, the data is divided into two parts, core data and annotation data. Core data includes sequence, citation information, and taxonomic data. And the annotation includes post-translation modification, domain site, secondary structure, quaternary structures, and the disease associated with a deficiency in the protein. Annotation is mainly found in the comment line, in the feature table, and in the keyword lines. Most of the comments are classified by the topics. This approach permits the easy retrieval of a specific category of data from the database. 
see i will show you see the sequence section the citation means the references and the taxonomic classification okay c uh, oc okay this three comes under the core data the sequence section the references and the organism classification this comes under the core data and the annotation data is mainly found in the comment line see the function catalytic activity disease associated with a deficiency in the protein yapka annotation the information of the annotation information is present in the comment line in the feature table see the active binding sites metal binding sites variants post translation modification acetylation you know, all this is present in the feature table keywords lyase the activity acetylation zinc finger site and the 3d structure quaternary structure of the protein so the annotation data is mainly found in the comment line in the keywords and in the feature table again you can see in the comment line it is, uh, is classified by the topics function catalytic activity disease so that you can easily retrieve the specific category of data from the database if you want to study about the disease you can click here if you want to see the catalytic activity of this protein you can click here if you want to study the function you can click here so the annotation data is found in the uh, comment line uh, keywords and in the feature table okay so this is the uh, annotation in the swiss prot which is, the, the data is divided in two parts core data and annotation data the second one is the minimal redundancy minimal redundancy much of the data comes from more than one literature report the data condensed and merged to appear more concise and coherent conflict in the data are listed in each entry what is the meaning of it as i have we have already discussed that uh, in the protein database 90% of the protein sequences were extracted from the other sequencing database so what will happen for some times uh, for a certain protein multiple entries are present which corresponds to the different database for example uh, one find a report that corresponds to the protein sequenced at protein level okay means one have isolated the protein sequenced the protein and submitted the protein sequence to the database the second report corresponds to the protein sequenced at transcript level means one have isolated the mrna sequenced to the cdna submitted to the gene expression database from the gene expression database the cdna get translated into the protein sequence and move to the protein database means for the same protein now second entry is present one at the protein level and second at the transcript level the third report corresponds to the protein sequenced at genomic level means one have isolated the dna sequenced the dna and submitted that dna sequence to the nucleotide database from the nucleotide database the cds part get translated into the protein sequence and move to the protein database now for the same protein third entry is there which corresponds to the different database so what will happen in the swiss prot <clears throat> the 100% identical sequence from the same species are merged automatically into the single entry also we know that from a single gene multiple products can be produced by using alternative splicing by using alternative promoter or by alternative initiation sites okay so this alternative sequences were also described within the entry so in the swiss prot there is there is single the swiss prot provide a single entry for all the protein product derived from a certain gene from the certain species and ek gene ke liye wo ek hi entry provide karta hai okay so provide single entry for all the protein products derived from the certain gene from the certain species yeah. 
the alternative sequences were also described within the entity jo alternative sequences bhi bante hai us gene ke gene se wo bhi aapka us usi single entry ke andar hi uska explanation rehta hai and if there is any conflict exists between the various sequencing report the swiss plot indicate them in the feature table so uh, this make the database non redundant okay the third feature of swiss plot is the integration with other databases the swiss plot provide cross references to the external data collection integration between the three types of sequence related database such as nucleic acid sequence protein sequences and protein tertiary structure as well as with a specialized database like omim database procyte database etc so what all databases uh, are there in the swiss plot they show integration with a sequence related database as well as with a specialized database sequence related database mein aayega aapka nucleic acid sequence protein sequences jaise pir ho gaya aapka and protein tertiary structure pdb database specialized database mein aayega omim database procyte database currently the cross references are provided for the following databases mbl that is a nucleotide sequence database pdb the protein data bank which is stored the crystallographic coordinates of the protein pir the protein sequence database of protein identification resources hiv the human retrovirus and aids database omim database at the online version of the book mendelian inheritance in man procyte the dictionary of protein sites and patterns and rebase the database of type 2 restriction enzyme so all this databases are integrated with the swiss plot you will find the cross references uh, of uh, this database in the swiss plot entry the cross references are provided in the form of pointer to the information related to the swiss plot entry and found in the data collection other than the swiss plot when you click on the cross referencing link you will move to the another database the database the data collection other than swiss plot they are implemented using the specific type of line the dr line okay i will show you here see the dr line stands for the cross references so in this uh, sample entry you will find the cross references for embl pir pdb omim database procyte database so means uh, from this in this entry it is possible to retrieve the nucleic acid sequences that encodes for that protein by clicking here you can uh, retrieve the nucleic acid sequence of this particular protein by clicking on the pdb you can uh, retrieve the x-ray crystallographic atomic coordinates and by clicking on the omim database you can find the description of genetic disease associated with that protein so um, the these are the cross references and the cross references will contain the information about that about this protein in the another database so by clicking on the cross referencing link you can find the additional information related to this protein entry the next is the documentation all files are well documented and indexed documentations are kept up to date so these are the four features which make the swiss plot database different from the other protein sequencing databases coming to the conclusion the swiss plot continuously enhanced its format and content to adjust to the wide knowledge pool in proteomics along with a high quality of annotation the automated annotation procedures are used for swiss plot in a very conservative manner the extensive integration of swiss plot with specialized database enable user to navigate through the current knowledge in the life science providing an insight into the universe of protein so this is all about uh, swiss plot